Hello, Blue Tube. It's the one and only Icebound Glaceon. And, uh, oh boy, we got a lot to show you in this video. So, in previous videos, I've shown you guys how to use Play Space Mover with, you know, the old Steam VR, with all of that crap. It's, it's quite outdated, unfortunately. And now that I have a Quest 2, which, if you want, you can check on my channel there. Um, yeah, I gotta make an updated video and I gotta make it so you can actually. Use full body with your uh, Quest 2 or any other Oculus device. Other than the Oculus Go, because no one uses the Oculus Go anymore. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering, yes, I am still using... <laughs> yeah, uh, that background. If you, if you guys want, you can stay till the end of the video, and I will quickly show you guys how to set that up. It is very simple. I even already have the tab open. I'll put all the links for all this stuff in the description. I will even, in next video, if you guys really want me to... I'll show you guys how to set up virtual desktop side quests and enable developer mode and get it running in wireless VR and show you how to use index controllers with your uh, Oculus Quest or Oculus headset. It's a little bit of a process, but it's actually not too bad there. So uh, first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go to your Steam browser or in the links in the description. And you'll want to look up OVR advanced settings. You'll want to download and install the software there. And then you'll want to go to this GitHub page. Again, links will be in the description. And you'll want to download this package here. Uh, it's it's not too bad. Everything just sets up properly. I believe when you install over your advanced settings, it will install Input Emulator as well. If not, I'm going to put a link for that in the description as well, because why the heck not? Um, but yeah, so once you already have you know your Oculus link set up and your... Uh, you know, this even works with SteamVR as well. Once you have uh, SteamVR running and it's all set up and everything, then uh, what you'll want to do is you want to go to your SteamVR here. Uh, if, if buttons want to work, thank you. There we go. And you'll want to go to Devices. You want to go to Controller Settings. You want to go to Show Old Binding UI. And in my last video, I forgot to show you this little Advanced Settings tab here that you hit Show. You just hit that. And it wants to open up. There we go. I actually minimize that so it's not in the way there. And what you'll want to do is you want to locate your game. So you have VR chat. And usually what I recommend is to disable whichever button you want to have set to your play space mover. In this case, I have it set to X button. So I hit edit. I hit click here. And I put it to none. And then I hit the check mark. And then I just hit back. And when you hit back, it'll take a little bit, but that's because it's actually saving those settings. Uh, you can do this with the game running, but I usually recommend just to close the game. It's much easier. Uh, the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go to OVR Advanced Settings. Doink. You want to hit Edit. And in this case, again, Edit or the plus. Put it on button click and put it on left hand space drag. Hit check mark. Hit back. And it will automatically save it as your default profile. You can save it as a uh, public profile, but you really, really don't need to. Um, but yeah, once that's done, you can actually close this tab. You won't be needing it anymore. And you can even close this one too. Again, I might, I might show you guys how to set up that, that background just <laughs> eventually. Okay, come on, there we go. All right, so now that you have over your advanced settings, GitHub, your button's already set up. Now you can actually turn on your full body. So let me just... Uh, do that now. Do, 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 do. Let me grab my hip tracker. I put it behind me instead of on me this time. I've actually recorded this entire video and I realized that uh, Steam VR doesn't like to record <laughs> um, the Oculus software. So if you'll notice, you know, a few things happened. I actually, yeah, see, there's you know, my full body's in the completely wrong spot because I actually have my tracker in my hand here. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to open our Steam VR. We'll want to go to Space Calibrator. Again, this only happens if you're running Oculus. I'll put it on Right Controller, and I will uh, put it to that one. And you want to hit Start Calibration. Nope. So that one is one of our feet. Start Calibration. Ah, there we go. So it's going to temporarily show up down there. All right, I guess that's our foot that's showing up down there. I might have actually selected the wrong one, so it's it's probably gonna calibrate in the wrong spot. Yep, it calibrated in the wrong spot because I selected the wrong controller. So let's try the top one there. Not tracking, I call bullshit. 
Hey. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, see, that one's my hip tractor. That's the proper one. And hopefully, once it's finished, yep, snaps right to our hand. Cool. So now we can actually, well, you can close Space Calibrator, but every time you uh, turn off your trackers and turn it back on or close SteamVR, you're going to have to recalibrate. So I just have this launch with my uh, Steam launches. So, yeah. So now we can put our full body on our body, ironically speaking, you know. And uh, we can launch a VR game. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I'm just going to put it on my body, show you guys it working, and then show you guys how to get this <laughs> wonderful background and any other background you guys want to get as well, because, uh, come on, this, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a, uh, that, that's a thing. So, uh, yeah, let's just go into VR. I'm going to sit down just to get my trackers to actually see here. There we go. Uh, one of the things I could recommend if you guys are running a hybrid system. Oh, my actually, my hip tracker actually fell off the heck. Why are... Hmm. Oh, I'm in a different avatar than I was in the last tutorial. And even the last time I tried recording this too. You know, let me just uh, grab my controllers and uh, go right up to the mirror. And yeah, so we're, we're nice and calibrated. It's <laughs> just... So that that is a that is a thing, boop. Um, but yeah, so uh, I might as well show you guys how to get that background there. Again, the calibration doesn't show in the perfect spot, but it's it's more than good enough. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our Steam VR. Doink. We're gonna go to our little tab here. We're gonna go to Workshop. No, I'm just kidding. We're we're gonna go to Settings. We're going to go to the play area tab and you'll notice you'll have a little background button uh, in the description. I will have <laughs> the link to, uh, yeah, to this, uh, this masterpiece here. We're going to go, you know, you can obviously go to the workshop and download any other backgrounds as well, but what you'll want to do, you want to go to your uh, little steam VR settings here. You want to click on background and you want to select the background. And that's it. <laughs> and it will automatically update your background whenever you uh whenever you launch your Steam. So yeah, that that's really nice. But yeah, that's essentially it. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, why are you still watching this? So many YouTubers that do this kind of stuff better. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Da -da -da -da. Boink. <laughs> no source selected. I call bullshit. Well, <sighs> it is actually just playing the preview, right? Yeah, okay. Mm, I don't know. I, I still feel like the first time I record this, yeah, the video is 15 minutes long instead of 8 minutes long, but I'm pretty sure I did a better job. <laughs> oh, boy. It, it's, it's actually not bad to set up all this stuff, though. Because, like, to run... Your index controllers with your, you know, Oculus or Quest, you just need, like, a dongle, which you can get with your you know, full-body trackers, or you can actually buy them online for, they're, they're anywhere between uh, 50 US dollars and 30 US dollars, so it's, it's not too bad there. And technically, you only need one dongle, but if you're running full-body, then you need four but when you buy your full body, it comes with three dongles anyways. So well, when you're buying three trackers, you get three dongles. You get one per tracker. I don't know. <sighs> Still can't believe I have to record this again just because this display VR view doesn't display the Oculus menu. Even though I preferred the Oculus menu. And the quality was so much better on the video too. Damn. Oh. No. <laughs> And yes, I know I'm still recording, and this bit you guys can't see, and yeah, I, I like putting little tidbits at the end every once in a while. Hew, 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 hew. Oh, also, if you guys have any questions. Ah, oh, fuck, I should have put this in the beginning of the video. If you guys have any questions. that That's why it took longer, because so I was explaining my Discord server. Shit. No, oh, whatever. I have a help desk in my community, in my uh, server, so. Yee.